One, two, three, Falcons! The Philadelphia Falcons is the only LGBTQ plus focused soccer club. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about how I was going to be perceived or being an outcast for who I am. There was a few folks back in 1989 who were looking for a space where they could play soccer and also a community. Going for the cost. Fast forward 35 years, the club accommodates all kinds of people, all kinds of genders, all kinds of ages. I'm ready to go. I do this for the camaraderie, fitness, a social activity. I do this to feel like I'm part of a team. Nice shot. No matter who you are, you're welcome to come in and enjoy the beautiful sport. Good job, Nino. It's really cool to see the fraternity that's created through the sport itself. Play, play. Football for everyone. Ready? Let's do it. We were selected as Club of the Year from the Southeastern Pennsylvania Soccer Hall of Fame Association. We have women's teams, teams that are more competitive. We have teams that are beginners. This club means a lot to me. This opportunity to just have fun and get back into soccer and make new friends with the whole gay community. There's a lot of people who depend on this club, especially our trans community. In a time where the trans community is being targeted, this is one of the few spaces it's okay to be who you are and you won't be judged for that. It's been absolutely massive finding a safe space to play the game I love. It's just really nice knowing that I can show up every week and I can feel comfortable and feel safe. Have it, have it. There you go. You have to be 18 to be a member. Oh! <laughs> we have players who are in their 60s and 70s and still kicking the ball around. I never knew how to play soccer when I joined the club. I'm just playing for fun. You meet people from different professions. How are you doing? I'm Martin. There's people that meet their significant others on the field. It's pretty cool. We also want to make sure that we inspire the younger kids that are out here playing with us to think of becoming leaders. I love that they don't take themselves too seriously. <laughs> it's a very welcoming team environment. It's amazing to see the importance of this club. We've seen people who become their authentic selves through the club. The focus is the ball. I don't care if you're a woman, a man, or trans. It doesn't matter. We're here to have a good time and joy, and you put everything else aside. Soccer for all. This is my sport. This is like part of my culture, my family. This is the biggest sport in the world. Soccer has always been a tough topic for people who are queer. We saw it two years ago with the last World Cup in Qatar where you will be prosecuted if you're part of the LGBT community. It's still a challenge. It's still very scary. There isn't a lot of soccer players who are out. Philadelphia. The U.S.'s first capital now host of a World Cup. Finally, having a World Cup here will be an amazing opportunity for all of us. Philadelphia is an inclusive city, and I think that this is a chance for us to show the world. Philadelphia Falcons are very excited to be the primary liaison for the Pride House Philadelphia. We will provide a queer map of places where people from our community can come from around the world and feel safe. I play soccer all my life. I'm Hispanic, I'm Honduran. The macho culture is what you learn. It's not okay to be gay. My parents were accepting, but it was very challenging. <laughs> Other kids see you and see that it's okay to be you and that you can be happy and continue to play the sport. As someone who lives outside the city, I don't have a lot of gay community athletic programs, which makes it a little bit more exciting to hang out with everybody. We believe in the greater good and making sure that we're making a difference in the community. They can't be what they can't see. Good game. Continue carrying the torch of queer soccer. At the end of the day, we're all human and we all deserve a chance to do what we want. In this case, it's soccer. Mm -hmm.